Okay, guys, I'm here for my review of Power Rangers Super Dino Supercharge Episode 13, Recipe for Disaster. Um, it was an oak. Okay, it was a very good episode that I really didn't think was going to be good of how it started. So we open at the Dino Cafe where there's a food critic who's reviewing the food in the uh, Dino Cafe. And she orders this New Zealand, uh, this New Zealand specialty cake that has already exploded on Chase two times. He makes it for the third time with the recipe. He makes it, ex and just as the food critic's about to eat it, it explodes. And the food critic threatens to shut down the Dino Cafe if her review is published. And also at that time, we are introduced to Heckle's new monster fortress. A monster that's kind of like a Megazord that, uh, no, that can that has a counter for every Megazord formation that the Power Rangers are thrown at him. So Wrench actually made a somewhat competent monster design here. So Heckle and Wrench and all that go to attack the Rangers. But they're interrupted by Singe, Doomwing, and General Onaga, or whatever his name is, uh, who is the guy that Keeper said uh, found the Dark Energen. He comes to Earth, and he has the Ranger technology. Hmm, so I guess the Silver Ranger gave it to the bad guys. So the Silver Ranger was probably a bad guy all along, or maybe not. Who knows? So, the villains, Onaga or whatever his name is, uh, Singe and Doomwing pilot their one of the, the one of the, the dino, one of the Megazords, and Snide pilots the pilot's fortress. While the Rangers do, can't do anything because their morphers don't work right now. And at this time, Chase is going to try to find his inner gym. He tracks down the food, the food critic, and he figures, because he's figured out that his inner gym is why the uh, dessert kept exploding. So, he tracks her down, looks in her purse, and he gets the inner gym. But she tells him that sometimes you have to change it up. Remember that, because that'll be important. That you have to sometimes change up things and not follow the recipe all the time. So Chase gets his uh, morpher and goes to join, gets his energy and goes to join the other rangers. Now, Fortress, because of what he is, his man manages to whip Heckle in it then. Then manages to fight off uh, Singe, Doomwing, and whatever this new villain is. Onaga, or Nada, or whatever. Uh... And they retreat, which allow the rangers to get control of their zords and their powers again. So they summon their zords, called the Titanazord, and they go into their new for and they go into um, all their formations that Fortress has a, a counter for. Now Kendall isn't working on a new formation for the Dino Charge for the Mega Zords that uses all the zords. And Chase realizes that they need to use that. So they go and summon this new formation, the Dino Charge Ultra Zord. And that destroys Fortress, which knocks Heckle down to Earth. And Heckle then, because he's so weak from the fight, is re-seized by Ornaga or whatever his name is, with Singe and Doomwing, and put back in solitary confinement. Because this is the guy who Sledge actually worked for, we found out. And they put Sledge back, they put Heckle back in solitary confinement, and they take over the base. And meanwhile, back at the Ranger lab, the Rangers deduce that the, on, that the only way that the villains could have gotten their technology was through the Silver Ranger, who was the only other person to have the Ranger technology. Which, really, why was he asking for their Zord 
tech anyway. His Zord wasn't even with him. It was on Earth. But, anyway, Keeper says that the Silver Energy Gym would not have bonded to an evil person. No, but it might but it might have already been bonded to a person, and the person got brainwashed or captured and whatnot, so who really knows? So they realize that, so Keeper comes to the thing that maybe the uh, Silver Ranger has been captured. So, um, he says the Rangers need to rescue him. And Wrench and, uh, and Singe is wondering what if Heckle manages to get out of solitary confinement. What's going to happen then? Well, Ornaga, or whatever this guy's name is, I forgot. Uh, I'm somewhere around there, but uh, he says that he has this, something to control Heckle. I'm going to guess this is the Talon Energy Gym that we haven't seen yet. I'm going to guess it's that. Uh, and I get, and maybe Heckle is going to get free from Snide and Heckle becomes a Talon Ranger. I don't really know. But, yeah, this was a very good episode. This was a solid episode. It was a, it should have been the episode we got last week. Uh, and by the way, the Dino Cafe gets a good review from the food critic. So, very good episode. We're going to see where the next episode goes, which is episode 14. Uh, and we'll have about, get up to about episode, what, 18 before the Halloween episode hits? And then it'll be back in December for a Christmas episode? So, yeah. Halloween and Christmas episodes. Um, I may get around to reviewing the Halloween episode of Dino Supercharge. I didn't review the Dino Charge Halloween episode because I wanted to, but I, had, I was having problems of filming videos then, so I didn't get around to that. But I do plan on most likely reviewing the episode uh, that airs the Halloween episode for Dino Supercharge. So that's my review of uh, Dino Power Rangers Dino Supercharge episode 13. If you like, this will be in my Power Rangers Dino Charge Super. This will be in my Power Rangers Dino Supercharge review playlist. If you like the video, like button down there, subscribe button down there, and thank you for watching. Bye.